Welcome to Under the Hood with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Under the Hood, we're going to take a look at something that came up on, um, on let's see, not Discord, Slack here. We had a question on Slack from Amy with a list problem. And usually, um, when I build something, I'm Dr. Abstract, I build something all the time. When I build something, I would say half the time I build something uh, I have a new idea for Zim. So either an improvement or something doesn't quite work the way that I hope hope it does, you know, out of all these many things. So there's often um, questions or bugs, and we at Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack, have a bug section, which is somewhere in here, bugs, and uh, Amy's asked a question here. So uh, here are the replies for that. The problem was when he combined text input inside of a list, and a list is something that scrolls, uh, why don't we go take a look at that now? So this is where the issue came from. Uh, here's what it kind of looks like. When I press, uh, let me do a refresh here. Um, if I type something into here, this is now a list right here. So it's a list of two things. I can't, I, I don't have, um, I can't pull it, I guess. But the problem is, is when I press that, it doesn't put the focus in there unless I select. So when I press this one, you see how the focus doesn't go into that properly and I can't start typing anywhere unless I select or double sort of like double click it kind of double click, I guess. Uh, anyway, so there there was an issue and that issue came up is just because we I don't think we'd ever tested um, a text input. The text input's relatively new, first of all. Uh, inside of a list. And a list is a complex thing. A list is basically it's a set of tabs, in this case a vertical tabs, um, and that set of vertical tabs is inside of a window. So it's a combination of tabs in a window. That's what a list is. So when we first heard about this, it was like, okay, I wonder if that is breaking because of the window. What would a, what would a text input be like in a window without the tabs with, you know, without being a list, just in the window. And then if that still works, then maybe it's because it's in tabs. So let's try it in a tabs. Uh, and if that still works, then it must be something to do with the list. So we have all these things to check and let's go through slightly that process in underneath the hood here. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna reduce this down and here are the tabs and let's see, here's the a test file that we made for it. So uh, we keep our test files in a folder called test here. Well, actually there's, uh, this takes ages to open. There are so many test files that we did, that's the bunch of them there for uh, test that we no longer use that folder just because <laughs> the folder the folder is too big. <laughs> Didn't even get to the end of it. Um, and then we went to test two and the same deal, test two became long. And so we no longer are in test two. And now we're in test three and even test three is starting to get long as well. And here's our current one called text input blur, text input blur. So um, I've actually fixed that and that issue is fixed in uh, Zim um, Zim version Zim 00. So to demonstrate the problem broken, I had to go back to Zim NFT 01. Uh, remember when we moved to Zim, here's the Zim 00 one right here. Uh, when we moved to Zim version Zim 00, we didn't bother putting another, uh, it would have normally been like cat was here, uh, NFT was there, uh, Zim would be here, but we just decided to drop the Zim. Uh, we imagine a future where we're just going 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 until we run out. <laughs> so uh, this is the last major version of Zim. <laughs> Zim version Zim. Finalized on it. Um, anyway, when we put that in there, it works because we fixed the problem. So coming down in here, we can see what we went through to try and solve that. The first thing we did was we went to window right here. And I'll comment this this bit out here. We went to window and open this up in browser plus, I guess. 
So there's the window with the hello. Sorry, I added uh, just so I could pull the scroll a little bit. I also threw in something else there, a rectangle that's really big and that's just sitting in there. But as you can see, as soon as I pressed in there, I can start typing. So that was, uh, that was no problem. I don't know why it's grayed out like that, but it was no problem pressing in there to make that work. So it wasn't a window issue or a text input. There we are adding a text input to the window. So it wasn't that. And then we tried it in tabs. So here we are making tabs, vertical true, and we made tabs of being a new text input and a new text input. And here's what that looked like. Uh, the tabs <laughs> seem to have some sort of uh, spacing or something, but anyway, uh, no problem. We can type uh, and select in each of those as well. So it appeared that it wasn't an issue with the tabs either. It was, um, Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Okay, here's where we solve the issue. Okay, this, this is what normal tabs would look like. I type in there, I type in here, I go back here, and ah, okay, so we do have the issue where I have to double click on it or drag click on it to get it. If I just click on it, it doesn't, it doesn't um, appear in there. So it was something to do with the tabs. So what we did is we went into the docs. It's a little bit like a mystery, isn't it? We went into the docs here. We found the tabs and sort of did, uh, it seems to have something to do with the focus. So we did a control F there on focus like so. And there's some key focus on a key event. And so here, here we've got some focus stuff and ah, it's sort of like this dot, this is the tabs dot on mouse down. If key enabled, set focus. So what's happened is the tabs themselves, if you key down on a tab, as soon as they key down on the tab, I, I saw it there, I saw a little flash of a focus on here, but what's happening is the setting of the focus on the tab is taking it away from the text input. So it no longer has focus. And it's like, oh, okay. And we know why we do that. And that's so that as we, click from tab to tab, if we just hit the tab, like, sorry, tabs, like tabs are, <laughs> tabs are tabs, and then we're also hitting the tab key. But anyway, if, uh, if we set one of the tabs focused, we want to hit the tab key and go to the next one, or hit the shift tab key and go to the previous one. So we want to set the focus to the tab, which means it's not really a bug, it's just a conflict, and there's not much we can do about it. Uh, but what we can do about it, as, as we've done here in the tabs themselves, if, is that we have a key enabled parameter. So if I just go back up to the top of the tabs, one of these parameters in here is called key enabled. There's a key wrap. And I don't know, did you see it there? I'm looking at the top. There it is, key enabled. Okay, so we have a key enabled parameter. Unfortunately, as you see that there's a fair number of parameters for the tabs there. Unfortunately, there was no key enabled parameter for the list. So the list um, looks like this. List equals. So here's the list and there was no parameter for key enabled. We've gone in and fixed it by adding a parameter right there called key enabled, which may not be exactly in the position that we want, but we figure while we're, um, while we're patching, that's called a patch, we can add parameters to the end and, and I think be okay. Nobody in their right mind would be going all the way, like passing in every single one of these parameters just to get to the style parameter, which is right here. I mean, maybe. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we do sometimes in, in our Zim code, um, we tend to use real parameters as opposed to the Zim Duo parameters if we can. But anyway, um, they would use Zim Duo to get to, to here. So we're quite confident that we could add a key enabled um, parameter without disrupting somebody's parameter order. <laughs> You know, hey, did you guys happen to put 30 or like 40 parameters in your, in your tab? I'm sorry if we broke that order. So it's, it's very, very unlikely. Um, 
Anyway, uh, we'll put it here until the next launch of their, the next version, at which point we could consider um, shifting it to a different location. Although I don't really, I don't see any other things that really relate to keys, so maybe we're fine with it just left there at the end. And so what we did down below here is somewhere in here we would be calling the tabs. Let's just find that. There we are. Let's see. No, let's list stuff. No, maybe it wasn't quite as soon as I expected. Or was that it right there? Yeah, that was it right there. So here's the function make tabs. And um, we're making a new Zim tabs. And in that, even we in, internally here did the Zim duo technique. So that's what had happened. We had nothing in here that was passing information about the um, key enabled. So we've gone in and added that now. So that, in other words, if you happen to be in your tabs, or sorry, not in your tabs, in your list, so we're in the list now, if you happen to be in the list and want to put in something that needs a key focus like that, then you would want to set that to true. So let's go into our test right here. Uh, we don't have to worry about it for tabs anymore. We're going to the list directly. Bump, bump, bump. And here we have a list with two new text inputs. We've set the key enabled to false. Uh, I'm going to refresh here. And I'm going to start typing. I can't even type in that one, I don't think. I don't know why. Type in this one. But yeah, it's taking away focus too quickly. So uh, key enabled true is what we want. But the thing is, um, we have to turn on the new Zim up here. So let's turn on the new Zim. So that works. Whoop. And we refresh here. And now refresh. There we go. So we did the refresh. And now I can type. I should be able to type in there. I can't. What's going on? OK, let's have a look. Uh, we've got the latest version of Zim. We've got key enabled, true, false. <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> okay, uh, there we are. Okay, we're back to now typing in. I just got the false and true mixed up. You guys are probably going there. No, 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 false. Key enabled, false is what you want. Right, so that now goes through to the key enabled of the tabs, and that's what fixes it. It makes it so that the tabs don't automatically override the key focus. Yay! And therefore, we were um, allowed to say to Amy here, boop, 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 um, that we solved the problem. And that's where the problem was. And then Amy said it still didn't work, but that's because he forgot to add the key. Like He thought, I just fixed it. <laughs> but we still have to add the, so as here, you need to add the key enabled false. And he goes, yeah, it works. Yay. And so I gave him a watermelon. Oh, watermelons are good. All right. So anytime, this is just, you know, a note to you, anytime that you happen to think that you've got something that is broken or that you would like, we have requests here. So these are requests for things that people would like. And uh, then we've got bugs as well, bugs up here. These are things that aren't working. <laughs> and you can see that AMI actually has a lot of bugs. That's because they make hundreds of things with Zim. They're a company that make a lot of things with Zim. And so they're having the same thing happens to me. You know, I, I make a lot of things with Zim too. And I come in and I sometimes don't have to report the bugs, although often I'll do, I'll just fix the bugs. But um, uh, those are always available here to see. Let's just go here, put the boop, boop, open up a browser, go to Zim, go to Docs. Whoa. And at the top of Docs, there's this thing called Updates right here. So see Updates for Changes. And what we've done is we put a link right at the top. We'll continue to do this, but this is our latest version of Zim. We have a link right at the top, which will lead you to Patches. So Patches is down below here. And here are the patches to the latest version of Zim. Added a key enabled parameter to the end of the list to be able to turn off autofocus tabs in the list. 
Um, oh, you know what we didn't do is I didn't thank Amy for that. Usually I, I, I do that as there's, there's a thank you and thanks for various others. Thanks for Rachel, etc. All right. Um, thanks. Easy is there. So anytime that happens to you, there's a thanks Yang Wang. All right. Um, please, uh, Carl, please tell us. All right. Um, Zimjs.com slash slack zimjs.com slash discord and um, I am Dr. Abstract. Do you know what I'm going to do now to wrap ourselves up here? Let's see. You go find the car and let's make some noise. The under the hood noise. Baby, you can tune, tune my car. All right. Here it comes. So this is me and under the hood. <laughs> Under the hood. All right. Take it easy, you guys. Ciao.